part six of the tutorial a little sheepish and we're going to add a sheep taking a drink from our lake pond whatever you want to call it and so I've got a nice big fat piece of fluff here um, it's white it's actually white core wool um, well I don't use core wool as such I use a um, Corridale uh, bat so um, but I use it as core wool so here we go we put them on here and now we're just going to make it into a, a nice sort of round sheep shape um, tucking it in underneath so that the sheep is standing proud of the um, picture and this is where it becomes really 3d and it's it's great I, lo I love this I love doing the sheep they look so good when they're done okay and this is probably the biggest sheep I've ever done on a picture but he's really close to the front so I wanted to make him a good size so I'm just tucking him in underneath tucking the wool in underneath to make him look nice and fat and round um, and I'll just carry on with that for a few minutes and perhaps use a different needle I don't know am I going to use a different needle I'm doing something yeah I am probably no I'm using my double needle so it's okay I don't know what I'm doing at the moment so um yeah and um, we're getting that sort of sheep shape a little bit um, thinner at the front for where his head goes and just into the water so that he's taking a drink so it looks like he's leaning forward and taking a drink um, head down uh, bottom up if you like so just get in the right shape and now we'll add his head which of course is black because it just well it's just easier to do the black and white sheep um, they look more like sheep a lot quicker than if you make just the white sheep although you can do whatever sheep you like really so we're starting off by putting a blob um, on the end of that bit of white there and then we'll we'll shape it with this particular one for some reason I had a, quite a lot of trouble with his ears um, but it did come out all right in the end I just couldn't get them right so you'll you'll you can watch me uh, making mistakes and putting it right here so there we go that's uh, one ear just a little bit of extra um, I think the prob the problem I had there was that I actually had them facing upwards and I wanted them sort of hanging down um, I prefer them going down so um, but I was trying to put them up and it did not look right to me it just did not work so but as we go along you'll find that I do adjust them and I do get them exactly where I want them and they look good um, yeah so I'm pulling it out a bit on the side the ears but I'm still not happy with it at all and you'll find I ha I add a little bit of a forehead um, in a moment because I thought it the, the shape of the head wasn't quite wasn't quite right it just didn't it didn't work so um, as I've said it's very forgiving needle felting you can make mistakes you can tear things off and do them again mostly um, and you can just I don't know have fun with it and if you don't like it change it that that's the the, the brilliant thing about doing the, uh, the needle felt and I've done a lot of changing on a lot of my work um, over the last year um, I've been needle felting um, since January 2021 so um, self-taught lots of YouTube videos um, if you want to uh, get some ideas for if you're very a very very beginner um, I suggest you go and look on YouTube at Felts by Philippa she does some fantastic videos on um, the very basics so go and have a look at Felts by Philippa on YouTube and um, you can learn all the basics she teaches you all about needles and wool and all sorts of all sorts of things that you need to know so yeah you can see not happy still not happy with the ears not happy with the head so I just play about a bit more 
um, and then I decide that I need more of a forehead or the top of his head to show so I'll be adding that in a moment I'm getting more of a of a face shake down there um, the bit that's actually in the water is just coming into a much nicer sort of um, muzzle shape but I don't even know if sheeps have muzzles or if they're called muzzles I don't know but yep there we go I'm trying to lift the wool up there to make the uh, the forehead bit on the top of the head but it doesn't it doesn't work um, it's not lifting up high enough um, so I end up adding a bit of black and here you'll see that now there we go we're just adding a bit changing the shape of the head um, and there you'll see it starts to look better um, with the ch change to the shape of his head but I seem to have lost his his left ear there um, but it will come back I will pull it out and put it where I want it very shortly okay I've got the head shape now that I want so now it's just a matter of getting the ears finished um, exactly how I want them it's been quite a bit about ears um, this particular tutorial but here we go and I do pull his ears down quite a bit and that one I pull down and it comes out over the rock and the other side just comes down as if it's sort of hanging to the water as if gravity's got hold of them and they're pulling them and it's pulling them down really so and he's not quite round at the moment um, but will adjust all that you'll probably see him in all his glory finished in the next video If you're enjoying my videos, please like, comment and subscribe. It does help me. Um, I'm trying to build up my YouTube channel. Um, and uh, it would really help if you could do any or all of those things. Um, and I also have a Patreon account. The link is down below, as are the links to all my social media. So you can come along and see what I'm doing. Um, my own website so it's now looking more like a sheep I do bring the ears down a little bit more actually before the end but um, before I'm happy with him then I've just brought that one down quite a bit more now um, here we go ears down that's yes much happier now when I get the ears down okay and just giving him a, a, a very gentle sort of needle felt over just to make sure he stays on there and uh, I'm quite quite happy with that. Now I've just got a bit of a very sort of turquoisey blue um, well a very small dot because he's so close I thought you'd be able to see um, a sort of an eye so I've made it's a turquoisey blue very light and I've just rolled it into a tiny ball and just put it in as eyes so it's just catching the looks like it's just catching the light there because he's so far forward um, I normally wouldn't bother 